All right. The sorcerer from the other party. Huh. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, does he actually have the ability to do it though? Probably not. Okay. Shit. He's going to Are run and hope for the best over here. So both of them are going to get a swing. Oh no. Actually, this, he, this may depend. Is she outside of the water element? Is there a what? what? Going to here. Did she actually leave the water element? Is there a You're still in the water elemental. No, does she leave the water element? Is there a range? She who? This is the man. So does he leave the water element in the range? Yeah, and they're, he's taking an attack from both. Okay. Um, like he was potentially still in. So, well, there's a reason why, too. So you watch as he hits with the short sword. Shield? He does not have shield. No. He's kind of like you, but also like Makar. Um, however... I don't need you making fun of innocent Makar. He does not move. Ooh, Sentinel? Mm-hmm. But thankfully, I don't believe the Water Elemental actually gets an attack because he never technically moved after that, so... There's that, um, but that was action. I demand an apology to Makar. Hmm. He's like, huh. And you watch as he just holds out his hand and he makes a massive fire orb. He's gonna fling it over at um, the wizard. Oh, hold on. What is AC? 15. Oh, he doesn't have mage armor up there. No, yeah. <laughs> you watch as you just kind of like curveballs this giant orb around the water elemental, and it you see the witcher like ah! He takes uh, forty three points of fire damage. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> and you just watch. There is no more drow wizard there. <laughs> That's what he gets for throwing a disintegrate spell around. Uh huh. And you just kind of watch this guy, like, all proud of himself, like, one down. Incineration, meet incineration. Uh, but that is all he's got at the moment. Can't move. Could be worse. All right. Trial 5 is going to... Let me get rid of this for now. He's going to flank him. One short sword attack. He does, actually. I think I have something for this. Nope. I guess not. Um, he takes 18 points of damage. He watches the female, looks over at this one, and just kind of like nods and motions him forward. And you just kind of see this very eerie smile on him, and he's going to run forward. And you just watch as he kind of burst out of his skin into this massive spider. Yucky. Alright, there we go. Pretty splash, you didn't know. Oh, most of us are unconscious. Right? Overkill right yep. there. Only me and Theris left. I hope you like prison food. What's the square I in the middle there? Like uh, that was the remnants of uh, fairy fire. That depends. How flammable is said prison? <laughs> Don't worry. Def made some specific requests for all of you. <laughs> 
Oh, at least I only want my hand. That's right. Oh. Big, big spider. And for his action. How are you doing up there, Deft? Um, I'll be doing pretty good if a spider doesn't shoot any weird substances at me. Okay. He's not going to shoot any weird substances at you. Good. Uh, he is going to cast Eldritch Blast on you. <laughs> One. First beam. Blast is always kind of a weird thing. I think that qualifies as a weird substance. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I'm I have I have one duplicate left. <laughs> oh, come on, Deft. Two dice. Don't screw me over, dice. Uh, that is a pass. It hits the duplicate. I have no more duplicates. <laughs> You're just sitting there. <laughs> I like to think in my own mind, like you have this comedic rapport with your duplicates until they die. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. You both, you both are just kind of looking at each other like, oh shit, that can't get me good. And he kind of looks over at you and all of a sudden just like, Psh! blast away. You're like, ah! And then he goes for the next one. Uh, that is a 26. That does hit. Let's see, let me double check this. Out of, out of shield range. Curiosity. Yeah. Does this spider have some way of getting uh, verbal components while the spider can? Yes. I can only imagine the terrible noises it's making. I'm trying to confirm one quick thing. Oh, then I can do it right here. Positive no theft. Eldritch Blast is not one of those spells that does more damage to him. I'm aware. Oh, yeah. And the last one. The last one? <laughs> this guy's Wait. Awesome. You didn't roll damage on the second one. Oh, thanks, Tom. You're welcome. I'm not happy to do that, but you're welcome. Is <laughs> yeah. um... it D10? I can take this. I can take this. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> uh, now the last one. Not bad, not bad. Um, Alright, you watch your, your duplicate just gets blown away. You just get kind of pulled like, bam, bam, but you still manage to hold yourself up. Uh, that's all he's got. That's kind of all big. Right. You're currently... Unconscious. I don't think he does. He have you whelmed? Uh, I think he's semi. In other words, from my recollection, what you said was he was actually pinning her to the ground. Yeah, but you're not suffocating. Her. Correct. <laughs> you're like his little egg. So, well, yeah, the uh, <laughs> exactly. I'd like to think he <laughs> he takes the form of a pink. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps like pushing you back underneath him. Uh, assassin one. What's the range on that? Sense. Uh, 320 feet. Yeah, I think that qualifies. Sharpshooter shot. Istrid. Five on the attack. Nada. Just kind of loses it and just flies off. <laughs> Second attack. It's 
like, look, <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? <clears throat> there it's your buddy. Uh, let's see. I thought we had it. Hmm. What can we do and not get everyone killed? That is a very good question. Not one I have an answer to, but... <sighs> Alright, so... Can you me? Oh shit, I don't have enough movement to actually move you if I do it, though. Okay. We'll do that. He's going to go ahead and cast, um, yeah, or dimension door, him and Theris. <laughs> he goes down to reach. The wizard is dead. The water mage is not currently looking at you. Um, and he does not have it. That means... You don't get counterspelled. Um, I'm just gonna put you somewhere a bit safer. I'm just zooming out a little bit more. All right, so you kind of both bamp out and appear behind the rock over there. Don't uh, you have to be willing. Do you want to resist? I, mean, <laughs> I do. I know what he's doing. Or, I mean, I don't know where I'm going. And do I know this this dude's friendly? I mean, if I think he's a threat, I'm not going to just You're willingly... Conscious. Well, this is the guy who was pursuing you through the tournament and trying to get you to meet him. Right, is but the do guys I know if he's a take... threat or not, or if he's part of this drone group? Up to you. I'll let you make the roll if you want it. What, what, do, I, what do you want me to roll to see if I can tell? Um, roll an inside check. I mean, I don't want to metagame it, because it's like, yeah, right. oh, we're getting kicked. Oh, no, for sure, for sure. You said insight? Yeah. <clears throat> Thus far, though, you mentioned the drow individual, or the non-drow individual. <laughs> so... It seemed to be friendly. Would it make you feel better or worse if I told you within the one roll you just made, I have to go get a beer? Because you rolled a net 20 and a net 1 because you uh, are poisoned. So <laughs> when they canceled out and I rolled a 10. <laughs> Um, you just feel a metal hand grab you. He says, hold on. You're not sure who this is? Okay, well then, if a thing like that, I don't know what's going on. Hmm. I think it's an attack. I'm resisting any kind of magic trying to be used on me. Okay, so let me just kind of... Oh, shit. No, too many buttons. Too many buttons. Too many buttons. I mean, yes, that's a better position for me to be in with him, but... Yeah, yeah, no, I totally get where you're coming from. I respect it. I respect it. Uh, da, 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 da. I believe he just resists the... Yeah. Because uh, it has to be a willing target. <laughs> you watch it, it's like... Ah, oh, shit! He <laughs> <laughs> just, like, peeks out from around the corner and, like, puts his back to the rock, like... Okay. We got this. We got this. He's gonna just turn. Um, oh, okay. Deft. You kind of just th hop out through the tree line. You just see fast bits of dark moving around. Roll perception check for free. You say you're that one. Beer. Okay. You say you're going AFK for a drink? Okay. Yeah. Is that what you're doing? Uh, let me see. I think you... <laughs> you're at the bottom again. <laughs> Well, that's Actually, 
No, no. You want to hear the best part? You want to know the only person who's underneath you? Who's that? Istrid. Who? <laughs> the, other, the other healer. Nice. So both friendly healers, other than Arborist, who's currently unconscious, are at the end of the order. I've got time to go get coffee, right? <laughs> go for it. Okay, you're like, you're beer right. and coffee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Deft. Um, you look around. There's a lot going on. Um, giant spiders. You see Satesh, like, trying to stand in front of this golem. It's, um, you're not exactly 100%, you've never been in, like, battle, battle, like a big scale, like, larger war battle. It's normally, you know, a couple of things, some crazy cultists here and there, but, you know, Ari normally kills them with a fireball. It's at that point you realize you're not 100% sure where Ari is, and you do not see her. Yeah, okay, um, I, Death. I'm very conflicted right now. My ideal is that I help the people who help me. My flaw is that if I'm outnumbered, I will run from the fight. So, the gears are turning. We're not doing good. All my friends are down. I don't... Wait, I see Theris, right? I see Theris. Okay. Um, yep, so Theris is there. Okay. I see Theris. You see... Everybody else is down. I saw um, Bronco okay. go down, who yep. never goes down. Mm-hmm. Um, I think for the first time ever, that it's a weird feeling. He gets the urge to pray, and that he will. <laughs> so he's going to squeeze his eyes shut, and he's going to pray. Okay. <laughs> what are you going to pray for, and <laughs> what are you praying to? Uh, to whom... I think you can take a guess. Mm -hmm. What? Oh, man. Help us. We're so screwed. That's what, that's, that's what I say. Um, roll percentile there really quick. If this is some divine intervention shit, I don't know <laughs> what you're doing. Oh. It's low. Uh -huh. The question is, is it low enough? Not for divine intervention, if that's what I think it is. Okay. So you make your prayer. That's a free action. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I'm over here! Bye! Help me! Oh man, I I turn invisible. I just turn invisible. Okay. That is my last second level slot. As you go to turn invisible, counter spell. Seriously? Okay, <laughs> wait. Okay, wait. Can I hide first? Oh, you're in the air. I'm. Sell I'm me, like sell in... me, sell me, sell me this. Okay, so I we're in a <laughs> bunch of trees right now. I flew up into like the foliage of the trees, and I'm okay. currently kind of like right above the tree line, but not really. Sure. Roll a stealth check. Also, my clothes, my clothes are dark. Okay. Roll a stealth check. Please, please, please. please. Give your cloak on. I forget. I do. I take it back. That always has we got <laughs> Not always. Not recently. That's Almost. a thirty-one. Okay. I think that, yeah, okay, so he won't see you then. So you go ahead, you're hiding, and you're invisible. Oh. Let me hit my button, and then I'll figure out what to do next. <laughs> He's kind of like, Boop. where did it go? Because you still look like a human. <laughs> Oddly <laughs> enough, a human with no wings who can fly. Yeah, it's a little weird, probably, but um, I'm going with it. All right. What to do? I I gotta look for Ari. I gotta figure out where she is. Um, last place I saw her was over here. I'm not even gonna count because I know I have a movement for it. That's not right. Hmm. 
last time I saw her, she was over here somewhere. I'm just going to look for her again. <laughs> uh, investigation check. Mm. A little too jittery, probably. No, unfortunately, yeah, you kind of see Satesh sitting there, like trying to block the golem from moving like towards Max. Okay, in that case, I. Okay, wait. Now I actually have to count my movements. I was. Um... Okay. I'm gonna drop. I'm just gonna grab Satesh's sleeve so he knows I'm there. <laughs> and he just watches, he kind of like leans to the left, like, I can see you. Oh, that's cool. I'm, what do we do? He's like, um... He's like, hmm. Oh, that's a good question. I'm out either way. He can think about it. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Well, this is not pleasant at all. <laughs> we can't have that happening now, can we? Uh, <laughs> uh, this is going to feel so dirty if it works. Okay. Please don't kill Gawkum. 5, 10. This guy's on your side. 15, 20, 25, 30. Statement still stands. <laughs> see a circle on Gronkum, I am afraid. That's something for me. I'm purple. Oh, no, okay. I'm no. I see. Uh, Checking out those fireballs, you. huh? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this will work. We're gonna give it a try. So that is All right, let's try. That's a wisdom save. Oh, it's the distance that we can from. Sixty feet. Ah. You watch as he just kind of like reaches out over towards um, the Death Knight. <laughs> he has been dominated. <laughs> nice. You just watch as he's sitting with the sword, and all of a sudden his stare just kind of goes blank. I'm back. So. You attempt to dial a humanoid, you can see within range. It must succeed in risen so blah 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 blah. If yeah, we already got that. While the target is charmed, you have a telepathic link with it as long as the two of you are on the same plane, blah 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 blah. It gives you commands to the creature you're unconscious, which it does the best to obey. You can specify a general course of action, attack that creature, blah blah blah. So it more or less for the moment is semi your friend. <laughs> I'll but, take it. You don't specifically know this. <laughs> Kinda. I guess the only one of you who's awake. Uh, Alright, so that's for that. That is his last fifth level spell slot. There's his concentration. Alright. Max, success. Mm. 
Who can we grab here? He's gonna just roll a quick perception check. Um, two. I can see him. Is going to go ahead, point over at Istrid. And you watch as the sphere surrounds Istrid and traps her inside. Well, that sucks. Um, that's concentration. That's that one. That's your buddy, too. That's the healer. No, I meant that's your buddy from the tournament. Oh, yes, I'm aware. Um, can I take a free action and just give him the dirtiest glare I can muster? Hold a performance check. <laughs> Even though I'm invisible. <laughs> sure. It's a pretty dirty glare. Yeah. He feels it. Where it hurts. Draw like one. I'm invisible for glaring at me. Yeah, he gets the shiver of I know the exact something's feeling. watching him but he doesn't know what. I know the exact feeling it has right now, an invisible glare. Uh short sort of te oh hello. Oh shit. It just doesn't get any better. Are you going to take out our help? Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. 15 points of damage. <laughs> and goes to sleep for... <laughs> so stun for a round, and also now unconscious. I thought you had to fail by like five to be knocked out by that poison. Oh, hold on. I was reading the wrong number. Okay, good, good, good. Just done then. Much better. We can deal with that. Uh, I don't think she's gone yet. Oh, thank God, too. It was like her turn shortly. <laughs> okay, much better. Well, not better, but. Better. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Who's looking pretty weak here? Let me double check this really quick. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> you just watch the, the arch just sitting in the uh, trees with the smirk on his face hiding. He's going to go ahead and pop a shot at Abasa. First one. Oh, he's poisoned, that's why. I was like, why? Wait, no, is he? Why is that not an advantage? Oh, oh that's... He's not so he has dodge still. There you go. Okay, redo that. Once more with healing. Uh... Yeah, that's a hit. <clears throat> A one and a one. Rip. 
second attack. Shit. Last attack. <laughs> <laughs> he got three arrows in his back. Still holds concentration though. Um, he's gonna move close to this little buddy. She looks pretty pissed. Um, she's gonna go ahead, take her greatsword. Isn't she stunned? Oh, yeah. Shit. But... The captain. He's gonna look around. And, and... She's gonna hit you on the back of the head. She's gonna stand next to you, Thurs. And he's just going to kind of point his sword at you. And three water mages. Ah, that's. How fitting, I'm in a bunch of different groups for uh, 3D files, and this mm -hmm. next month, one of them in is really, it's a bunch of drow stuff. <laughs> he is going to go ahead to cast a spell on the bar. <laughs> oh, thank God. He watches his, his this image starts to kind of fade away, and then you watch as he like holds on. Uh, Theris, you're very familiar with this spell if you manage to see it. Uh, as his banishment fails. Uh, that does not. They are going to kind of move over here. All right, fire turn. Earth elemental. It's going to hit the dash. <laughs> Makes the biggest mistake of its short life. <laughs> it's like he's like, wait, and he like inexplicably just like feels the need to dodge. It's like, ah. Second attack. He's like, yeah, and you watch he kind of like holds his hand up and just like stops the hand, like stop. This is about it. Huh? Only a hit, but not that. <laughs> Death. Yes. You kind of like are sitting there just watching him. He grabbed its arm. You just see him like he's averting his eyes and he's just kind of closing his eyes like, stop! Buddy, you're, you're, uh... You... You're touching it. You got this. Punch it! Punch it! It's not his turn yet, but... <laughs> I'm encouraging him. Very well encouraged. All right, that brings us to Airbus. Oh no. Oh no. Second failed death save. Oh no. 
Air Bus. I'm currently planning on my next character. Hold on, how many Air Bus movies are there? How many Air Buses? Three or four. Uh, maybe two or two and a half. Yeah, it was definitely at least three. Was it three? If it was three, you yeah, you might be on your last movie. They yeah. made a lot of movies, didn't they? I don't know. I know they made at least three. I don't know if they made like four or five. I'm curious. Five movies uh, about what, like eight spin off series? Oh, I've got two, two Christmas specials. Okay, you've got to make these saves. You have way too much stuff to do. You've got a lot of work to do. We're on two, we need to get to three, and there's five movies, and we need to get some spin offs out. And a couple of Christmas sessions. Oh no. <sighs> No. He watches the bard get struck with an arrow from one of the assassins and loses concentration on the dominate person. Oh no. Uh, uh, does bard have luck? Uh, constitution does not. Uh, fails the con save. Takes 25 points of poison. <laughs> Well, I suppose, positive note, if they fail, we may have additional companions for the uh, uh, prison cells. <laughs> like, hey, there's a bard. We have the makings of a band. Uh, the Earth Mage. Uh... Like, looks over and sees Gronkum. Up. Oh. I love how no one caught that either. Wait, what? Wait, how did that happen? I'm gonna get a beer. Wait, what? Come from. This is all you hear. <laughs> this is actually, you feel this and hear it. You feel your metal hand slap you in the face. <laughs> and you hear this little squeaky voice say, Can it be big enough? I'm not dying here. <laughs> and I'm gonna go get a beer. Wait, seriously, when does it happen? Just now. Just now, I guess? Okay, I'm gonna have to watch the replay on the stream, cause... Wait, can we get an instant replay on that? Somebody clip that. Uh, let's see, it's just a term conscious. No. So, let's see. When did Gronkum get healed? Well, whenever it happened, it did not happen in the actual chat itself. No, yeah, no, it didn't happen in the chat. I already checked that. I'm back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes. All right. During Arbus's turn, I was still damn. Mm hmm I told you. You felt your hand hit you in the face, and you heard a voice in your head say, Get up, you big oaf. I'm not dying here. Okay. Well, history check. Well, it's the guy that made my arm. I remember that. Okay. Yep, absolutely. Earth Mage. And looking around, <laughs> sees the, sees this small human just like grab his giant elemental's arm midair without like, out even trying. <laughs> huh? 
Um, he's just going to go ahead. Doesn't really want to be near Gronkum. Going to move towards the spider. And is actually he's going to cast Major Armor on us. There we go. Turn well spent. Uh, Mr. Wizard. Ooh, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, Dark, I'm going to borrow your circle for a second. I disagree. That's not my circle. I said Dark. Oh, I think he said Tech for some reason. <laughs> you, would, you couldn't let me throw my fireball. You're unconscious. <laughs> I know. You couldn't let me throw my fireball. You got to get up first. But this guy will do one for you. Uh, fireball at six, one, four. Wait, he's unconscious. Oh no, he can't do it. That's right, he had poisoned. I forgot. He can't do shit. Just sleeping. <laughs> the fourth draw. Gonna go. Get a nice short sword attacking on her. Eleven points a day. Four. Where'd he go? So I should... Actually, no, it's not. He's not playing. And second one. Fucking stuck in the mud. Tis a shame. Wolfgart! First fell. Ferris! Okay. You will put your faith in me or a higher power? Because I got an, I got two choices here. Don't want to metagame it, but... Hey! I think at this point anything's fair. Up to you, man. I can I get us all back on our feet. I, I can get everyone back on their feet, not with a lot of hit points, but everyone will be up. Or I can petition my god for a 10% chance to get us out of this shithole. I will say, the round is, so basically you go and Istrid goes. It's the end of the round. So it could be a beneficial thing, depending on how initiatives go. It could be beneficial if I roll less than 10%, too. True, true, true. They're both yeah, but very that's valid. Also, a ten percent. Yeah, but yeah, it's, it's only I'm, 10 I'm trying chance. to guess is the three uh, D eight plus four hit points to everybody is probably only about a ten percent chance of survival. Also, well, I mean, with the way Arvis is rolling, <laughs> <laughs> well, but you also have to remember too, potentially, and the same thing. They could all outroll you. They're all very quick. But yeah, if you I'm, get, vo I'm voting for he the can heal. heal. Max can heal. Arvis can heal. Ari, I don't think you can do another mantle currently, no. right? Yeah. No. Uh, uh, the big thing is, if people are up with even a few hit points, they could potentially effectively divert from the uh, attack. And, and attack. a lot of people are sitting very poorly on the death saves, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I have two yeah. death saves. I've already got everybody targeted, so... So, it's up to you, Theris, as to which right you want to go. I but... grab my holy symbol. Rise, my companions. And the Drow Mage is too busy dealing with the Bard to counterspell you. All right. <clears throat> Yay. Thank oh. you. Keep me alive for another two rounds. I can get another AoE heal, and then I can ask my god for help. <laughs> All right, Istrid. It's like stuck in this orb. Not taking shit from no one. She's making an athletics check. <laughs> I 
<laughs> he watches the orb. Actually, hold on. Is this the one? this one moves at half speed, right? A Luke's resilient spear. Pretty confident. Hold on. Oh, yeah, don't. Are you gonna hamster ball it? No, I believe you can. Yes, hamster ball. Yeah. All right. So because the drone's not technically pushing, she's gonna move five, ten, fifteen. That'll basically be half her movement. She's just kind of rolling in this direction. Um, as far as actions. Uh, it's a shitty heal roll. Now that won't leave the bubble. Ooh, that would be interesting. Gonna use her action to dash. So five. 10, 15. <laughs> Ooh, she's coming. <laughs> she's coming with the quickness, Gronk. Don't worry. It's all part of the plan. That's it. Top of the round. Oh, wait. We didn't start yet. Okay. Deft. <gasps> Fastest motherfucker on the map. Ooh, okay. Um... Okay, 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 okay. Oh wait, Def can't get healed. Def's invisible. That's fine. I'm 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 fine. But Def, you do see your friends. Well, could, mine is an AoE heal, it should have healed her. Oh, do no, you have to be it, able to see Def? I'm pretty sure mass is a uh, a bunch of select targets within an area, isn't it? Uh close up to six uh creatures in a thirty foot radius. Sphere at a point I choose. Each target regains hit points equal to 3D. So it's I'm picking an area and all my friends in that area. It doesn't yep. say anything about vision. It just says it doesn't say you have to see them. Then yeah, it's fine. But yeah, you see all of your friends. <laughs> your your greatest fear, at least slightly elated for the moment. Okay, I have been holding on to Satoshi's sleeve this whole time, so I'll let go of his sleeve. Okay. <laughs> so you're holding onto the sleeve? That's the RBS up too, so your arm's kind of like halfway yep, up. Yeah, just, just following him. Yep, hanging on. Okay, that would I let go. Wouldn't it? I am going to swing around and flank. I'm gonna... Okay. Uh, Satesh out. I'm gonna stab this big guy. Alright. Give your, uh, your aura up too, so your daggers are like lit on fire. Can she tell Ooh, which guy chance. summoned that thing? What's that? Can Def tell which guy was summoned the elemental? Because it one of those uh, kill the caster, then the elemental is not controlled. It's not that kind of elemental summon. Boo. It's a pet. Oh yeah. Def would just see. Yeah. <laughs> so it's still if he it's, dies, it's he dies. Okay, invisibility drops. All right. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. And thankfully you have magic -y daggers. I believe this works on this one. Nope. What did it resist? Uh... Um, one of those defects could be fire damage. I don't know if that's calculated right or if I did that right. Uh, two, fire, yeah. Two I did. fire damage. Yeah, you did two fire, 21 piercing. Six regular magic, two fire, and then another 21 in piercing, which should be the same damage type as the... It might not be non-magical. It should have been. Because the, the backstab is going to be based on the weapon. Why did you stab me? Hold on, let me double check. Unless it's not carrying the magic property for the, I'm double the sneak attack. He can cast your scout daggers. Do, 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 do. It's here, but is it in your action tab? Magic. Magic. It's coded with magic. Oh, you don't have magic coded to uh, your sneak attack. That's what I was saying. Yeah, oh. So 
Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I was I totally missed what you were saying. No, it's okay. I said back. I said that. back. I would have just I meant that. sneak attack. I heard you say piercing. Like you literally said it in two different ways, and then I was just sitting there like, wait a minute, is there magic magic? Oh, <laughs> yeah, because your dagger is magical. You uh, basically you can put a common, then just type magic. Or, hey, I can do it like that. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Yeah, I don't know how to code anything. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Uh, do that. Piercing, comma, magic, no spaces. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Next time you do it. So you get back your additional 11 points of damage on him. Not that he needs any help with his hit point. Uh, so he takes another 11. So... Okay. Hey, you chipped away a good charge for them. Good. Uh, bonus action. Ooh. Yeah, I'll swing again. All right, I'll hand. Okay. 1d4 plus 6. Hey, that's not bad. I'm just going to hang out right here. Let's see. Sees you, Ferris. <laughs> oh. <laughs> This guy is not shot well all night. Second shot. Good. Uh, 19, shield? No shield? I forget if you had shield. No, I don't have it. Alright, just a plain old 7 for 10 total and con save. <laughs> don't worry, Airbus can heal you. 26 is you just kind of like feel this burst of poison in you and you just kind of warm and fall over. Uh, Gronkum. Actually, before you go, Gronkum, there's someone else who's got a turn. Okay, you can. Oh, jeez. Oh, hold on one second. Yeah, no, he can't parry that. <laughs> It's Water Mage. Uh, 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 uh. See that there she's been dealt with. He's gonna pick on his little buddy over here. Gonna go ahead and burn a second level spell slot. And you watch as he shoots out these two acidic arrows like he shot at Max previously at uh, the Bard. That is a hit. He takes 13 points of acid damage. And he gets marked for next turn. Uh, he can move down. Industry. Water Elemental is going to whelm 
Oh, this is the radius. Who is it attempting to wall? I think it can wall multiple people. Uh, all right, that's right. Yeah. Actually, no, it's just going to stay where it is. If you do stand up, though, you will be technically back inside of it. I was about to say, to stand up, I would need to break out its grasp. Crap. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good hit. Four points of damage. That's it. The Death Knight extremely pissed off <laughs> about being mind control. Uh, ooh. Hmm. He's pretty pissed. What's the easiest way to get there? You watch as he looks over at the bard. Yeah, it looks like a sphere of darkness. <laughs> and then Wolfgart, you just watch as he kind of shifts and vanishes. Uh, that's action, bonus. Yeah, he's good. This guy's just having fun with these two. <laughs> uh, at least for now. Uh, again, they are going to have a bit of issue with uh, their current environment. They need to make a better wisdom save. Why did another one not make it? Hmm. They both succeed. They take seven points. Why? Seven and eight points of damage. Uh, he will then attack. Hey, I just noticed someone. Uh, Five on... points of damage. Did you know? I don't know who that is. Anyways. I know who that is. Drow six. One or six. Six is going to come back over here. Five, ten, fifteen. Boop. It's gonna join in on the fun. Attack away, one attack. Twelve points a day. Max. Is Max even here? I just noticed Max is not even here. Nope. This is what happens when we have so many things to fight. <laughs> paladin does Paladin things. Paladin does Paladin things. Fair enough. Hey, would, he's thing. right there. Would that aura have affected me on that poison save? Uh, ooh. Because I didn't uh, miss it by that much. I think you're... Are you within 10? No, you're just out of range. No, I'm like 10 foot from him. No. No, you're about 10 feet oh, from Oh, I'm Wolf looking Gar at Wolfgar. Yeah. God damn it. <coughs> yeah, yeah Colin's on the other side of the fire. Because <laughs> yeah. that would have totally... Like, damn it, Wolfgar, get out of the way! You're blocking the paladin! <laughs> 
Um, he oh, he does have some good stuff. Um, okay. Let's see. He's gonna go ahead. Ooh. Seems like what I've seen him mostly do is he'll lay of hands. He's got 35 total points. I think he will dump 30 points into himself. Wow. We need to recode this. Maybe so. Do you have a better way of coding that? Not yet, but give me something to think of. <laughs> I'll find a way. Because unless you can find a, a char or a better charge system. Uh, you can make that one hit point heal and click it however many times you need to heal. <laughs> 49. Okay. At that point, it's easier just to, um, you know, change the value of the heal yes. to however amount you're doing, but you still got to mark off the charges used. All right, so lay on hands is feeling good. For most things, it's fine, but lay on hands when it has like 30 plus charges, you know. So I'm saying for if you want to keep it with the charge, you got to do the one hit pointer and just click it each time. All right. Um. Oh, he can't really step away. No, unless he wants to provoke. Well, the thought is he kind of wants to go fuck with the shadow. Oh, that's not the shadow. That's the house captain. Yeah, I guess he'll play with the paladin. Uh, that's his action. Yeah, he's just gonna say warrior four. Um. He has disadvantage on the attack. Miss. Oh wait, that's a lead warrior, sorry. He gets two attacks. Disadvantage. <clears throat> that one does it. Hmm. I'm going to damage. Alright, um... <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. Where are you at, Grunkum? There you are. Mm. Why is my... That must be off sense. I'm moving your orb. You put your orb back when you're alive. <laughs> oh, this worked out well. Grunk him. You can watch from your arm. This horrible, god awful stench just emanates out and just masses into this giant, stinking cloud. Uh, let's see. It wasn't me, it was my arm. <laughs> right, mm hmm. Alright, so on the start of their turns, they get to make their saves. If they fail their save, they can't use their action to do anything. They get a wretch and reel. Unless they don't need to breathe. All right, now it's just Earth Elemental's turn. Um, he's very frustrated. He couldn't hit the other guy, so he's going to do one attack at him to see if he can make Nope. He gets frustrated. He tries to hit the little thing behind him. That one does. <laughs> wow. That's a hit. He just swats at you. <laughs> yeah, 16 just... points of bludgeoning. <laughs> All right, Basa. 
I broke my suspected it was like, hey, what's she doing? We're all noticing her. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty. And one of them does not have to tell three of them. So three of them it's either Ali or her mother. There's just no way it's uh You watch Death this this beam of ice just flies over your head. I am glaring at him. He just kind of looks at you with a smile. <clears throat> House captain is going to go ahead. It's going to swing and strike back at you, Wolfgart. I disagree. That is a 27. One day I'll get to use my fireball. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Have you even had a turn yet? We need to get some yeah, banishments going on. Uh, Alright, so that's his first attack. He's going to step over to Max. Advantage, second attack. And then third attack. Yeah, he's going to make it at Max. Actually, no. Whip it, not advantage, at you, Arbors. Oh, wait, that's not advantage. Hold on. Oh, hold on. No. Normal. Attack. Yeah, back a little bit. Plain singular attack. Why is it so advantage? Oh, hold on. Something's wrong with you. Why? You're not restrained restrain and grappled. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let's fix this before Can we start. Can you through that darkness, anyways? Oh, good point. I forgot that's darkness. So many things. I need more colors. Uh, you are no longer restrained. You're no longer grappled. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no, so I guess then he's going to hit Max. <laughs> good for you, bad for him. That is a 24. 25 points. Ooh, that was... Ooh. Shit. He's gonna have to buddy. He's gonna wake up Schema. He's currently awake. Actually, can you wake him up? Mm, poison, poison, poison. Mm, 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 mm. Alright, so you're awoken. He wakes up, but he's still poisoned. Ah, uh, more bonus actions, I don't believe. Actually, he's got a couple spells. Ah, uh, this is this is this is He's going to go ahead. Actually, no, he'll just wait for that. <laughs> Such a dick move, but I'm super tempted to do it. Do it.
Nope, that's not what I thought it was. That would be a horrible thing to do. Wait, there we go. Proper one. What were you about to do? <laughs> I was... I was... <laughs> I'll tell you after I do it if it works. <laughs> so, hold on. Oh, this is such a dick move. Ooh. Is it a move similar to say that? Nope. Much meaner. Oh. All right, you watch. Is Jada's gonna run up five, ten, as fast as he can on a bossa, and you go watch as he lays his hand upon him, and he just smiles real wide. A boss that kind of rushes in pain immediately takes 15 psychic damage. Still doesn't drop the concentration. And he must make an intelligence save. Nice. DC 21. <laughs> Hi, DC. Yeah. He stares his friend. Um, he oh, I'm, that's so I'm definitely more watching higher this. Than my DC, and I've got you watch Abasa. Charisma. Just like his face goes limp and begins to drool as he has been feeble minded. Uh -huh. His intelligence and charisma are one. I just shoot this guy a thumbs up. Oh, it gets better. Hold on. And I believe he loses his spellcasting ability, doesn't he? Oh, it gets much worse than that. You blast the mind of a creature you can see within range, attempting to shatter its intellect and personality. It takes 46 damage and must make an intelligence saving throw. On a failed save, the creature's intelligence and charisma scores become one. The creature can't cast spells, activate magic items, understand the language, communicate in any intelligible way. It can identify its friends, follow them, and protect them. At the end of 30 days, it can repeat its saving throw against the spell. If <laughs> it succeeds on the saving throw, the spell ends. The spell can also be ended by a greater restoration, heal, or wish spell. So, if it doesn't get those things, it can make a save every 30 days. Heck yeah. Uh, but for the sake of battle, he can do nothing but hit. Or grapple. Nothing very intelligent. That's a big thumbs up for me. Uh, uh, and that's, that's not a concentration spell. Nope. It's just 30 days. You get to try everything. Uh, six? Eight. Okay, I was going to say that has to be at least six or higher. Mm -hmm. uh, Theris. So nobody, nobody decided yes. to heal me. Huh. We didn't have any healers yet. Theris, you know how this works. Healers go at the bottom of the initiative. Actually, hold on, let me look, because you're probably not wrong. Uh, <laughs> Is it you not have it set to auto-roll death saves? Yeah. Uh, nope, there's... Technically, they're kind of in the middle, so yeah. Drow. This one is going to continue attacking. This poor girl has not even got a move. No hit. Elite Warrior. Five... 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I don't love Jump that. On you, Deft? No, I don't like that very much. Short sword from the back. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. No. That is a crit. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think I'm done. <laughs> I like the name of this. I... <laughs> can I, wait, um... Can I use a luck point to impose disadvantage, or do I have to do it before the roll? You can just flat out make him reroll that 20. Yeah. In fact, I believe it's you roll mm -hmm. and choose which die. No. You oh, actually technically, no. If you're doing their attack, they reroll. So yeah, you can expend a luck point to just flat out make him reroll that crit. Yeah. If it's not a crit, I might survive. I'm gonna well, the unless you roll double twenties, re-roll. I believe it's just the twenty that you re-roll as well, if I'm not mistaken. I just re -roll. rolled new dice. Yeah. All right, so he roll. 
a natural one. <laughs> oh, that's a very different table. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that doesn't really work, though. Yeah, it kind of works. No, that would be actually kind of bad. Okay, so he misses. Uh, second attack. That would have hurt, too. I bet. Miss. No damage. Warrior three. Or is William when you need him? I've rolled so many 20s tonight. You sure yeah, have. Uh... Ouch. Uh, uh, that is a total of 15 points of damage. It's a good thing she's resistant. Eleven points. Ari! Okay, so she's alive! In the field of darkness and soaking red as she's been pinned to the ground. It's not um, a good day. No. It's, can she remember what the field actually looked like around her before the darkness hit? Ooh. Okay. Um, I wouldn't say you would actually be able to. You've been unconscious for a while. True, but at the same time, she did have, I mean, we did camp here for a while, and you know, she did have a bird's eye view for a little while. Yeah, but if you can't see anything, like, you don't have the immediate, like, all you feel is water. It's not like you feel your way around and know where you are. You have nothing to make a bearing off. Hmm. I mean, you could stand up or try to, like, shenanigan out. You could make a... I mean, you could dimension door in any way and probably feel like, worst case, you know, you might hit a tree. Hmm. I mean, unless you want to play with the water, but typically... Ideally not, but... Uh, I think I'll do somatic. Uh, yeah, I could do somatic right now. Hmm. What happens if I set a water elemental on fire? If you set a water elemental on fire? Yeah. I don't think you can really do it, but I'd love to see what happens if we try. Oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I know you're very determined. Let's see, is there anything that would actually prevent it from being a vampire? Let's see. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can do that. Uh, these are beefy ones. It could be like a pyrotechnic water show. <laughs> I wish you could see that water mage park right about now. Um, you're probably going to spell that. Yeah, no, not being able to see is... Uh... Definitely a problem. Oh. Finally. Welcome back. What happened? I don't know. Discord took a complete shit, and then it took five hours to update, it seemed. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, from the brief moment that she could see things, was she aware there was the water elemental on top of her, or...? Um, you did see the water elemental at one point. I'd say, yeah, you 
gather it's probably still the water elemental. You didn't see any bodies of water. Um, you don't think you've been unconscious that long. <laughs> Okay, um, double check, just confirm how much this cost. Oh, I actually have the wrong number of points there. I should have 10, not 9. Haha. -ha. So, she's going to use her bonus action. I really want to see what happens if I set a water elemental on fire. <laughs> to uh, recover a 5th level spell slot. And cast She's then going to use her action to cast Immolation on the Water Elemental. Is there a radius to the first part of Immolation? I forget. No, single target. Okay. Yeah, I don't see anything that would specifically stop it. So you go ahead. It is Magical Fire. And Roll away. So let's see, he takes the full 86 of fire damage. Or, it, yeah, 86. And it bursts into flames. Yep. You... I don't know if the light it emits manages to pierce the darkness or not, but. No, but there is a little bit of steam that comes up out of the top of the dome. <laughs> uh, so I put that on myself. Uh, da, da, da. I put this on it. And she probably says, Get off me! And then you hear a voice say, Who said that? He's like, come on, buddy, can't you take a joke? Uh, ooh. I don't think I can fucking see him. Shit, hold on. Please tell me this is a touch spell. Uh, ooh. Focal? Choose one creature. Shit, I can't see him. Ing. Well. That's not the best way to do this. Uh, <clears throat> he's going to disengage and roll a d4 and see which way we run. North, south, east, west. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Ah! <laughs> uh, that yeah, he's going to so. There you go. That's it. Is he disengaged? I just want this darkness to fade and for the water mage to be confused to see his water elemental as become a fire elemental. <laughs> Smoke on the water elemental. Um, Satesh is still holding the arm. <laughs> he like looks at you deaf. What do I do? Punch it! Just a punch? I, I don't know. What else do you have? <laughs> Apple hit. 33. You can just hear this cracking sound. He's like... <laughs> I did it! You did it! Do it again. Second one. Do it again, do it again. It's like the Benny Hill music casing. I am absolutely typing him up. 25 points of damage. And he kind of does like a spinning kick. Ooh, I'm just picturing Satesh's new combat method on this plane just being like, grab someone's hand and making them slap themselves or something. Uh -huh. oh, don't worry, I thought about it. And 22 points of damage. Dang. Uh, oh, and bonus action. Oh, they're on armed strike. You just watch as he chips away. <laughs> oh wait, hold on, he might get in that 20. Yeah. Okay, so fair. <laughs> There's just rubble on the ground. And he just looks at you, Deft. And he's like, high five! But you're too far away. Air high five! I would, I would 
I would hype that in so hard. Okay. Um, he's going to go ahead. And he's going to kind of just step up to Max, and that's it. The ball continues to roll. <laughs> Five, ten. Okay. Oh, hello, friend. And she just kind of beats... Actually... Ooh, this is a good question. Can you hold concentration if your intelligence drops? I never uh, really say. If you're I too stupid so. to understand what you're I would say it's too stupid. On. So, the ball... drops. Not that kind. Uh, she's so poisoned... All right. Get rid of that. What do we got here? Six creatures. Ah, oh, she does. She's gonna go ahead. Take a page out of Ferris's book. Mask your wounds. Not much, but you all take 12 points a year. Ferris is back up. Wolfguard is back up. I'm conscious. I'm not up. I'm going to pretend I'm still unconscious. Ground okay. oh, I didn't miss And I'll that. pray and heal from the ground and hope no one knows this. All right, so that burns her fifth level slot. Um... Sorry, this. Just probably... pretend you're asleep and like roll into the darkness. Actually, actually, okay, that's good enough. Short started advantage. Point damage. Mr. Spider. Actually, hold on, he's gonna make a save first. Stinking clef. Ground from arm fart. Uh, is that what that 20 foot circle is? Yep. That's your arm fart. Dying. It makes a. It does succeed on the arm fart. 15, 20, 25. 30. It's going to kind of come up on you, Grantham. Uh, it is going to attempt to bite you. It's a miss. And... Bite attack. And a miss. One or two is going to flank. Arm fart. Right. Arm fart first. Please? Gotta arm fart it. You got it right in his face. Point blank. Arm fart range. No action for him. He <laughs> will move out of the cloud, but that's all he can do. Shit. Uh, Art, Airbus! 
Oh, it's your turn. turn. You get a turn for the first <laughs> time. I think. And I'm okay. awake and I can do something. Roll a perception check. I'm paying attention. As you wake up. Hold on, I was grabbing a beer. I was literally gonna go grab one too. Here, you go get a beer. I'm getting a beer too. But you do know you're drenched and soaking wet, and it's all black. But roll a perception check. Anyways. Yeah, that's a pretty good perception. That was a pretty good one. I don't know if it's going to tell me what's going on. Since I just woke up from being unconscious and it's dark. It is pitch black around me. Do I have to know where you guys are if I want to cast Mass Cure Wounds? Not Mass. Nope. Mass is an AOE. Yeah, it's you can range it, but it's a thirty foot sphere, so you just got to make sure we're in it. Actually, I think get just about everyone. All right, what horrible things are you doing to me? I'm I'm seeing stuff. Okay, so you hear combat all around you. You kind of feel the warmth coming from a fire. Um, shit sounding pretty crazy, but you can't see anything. Does he feel the warmth of the other fire? Which one? <laughs> he feels the one closer to him more than the elemental one. Mm -hmm. But holy shit, this has been an interesting day. Yeah. Um, so I went down pretty early in the fight. I didn't see, I don't see everyone, I don't see anyone right now. Everyone's wounded. You hear combat all over the place. You don't see. It's just pitch black. Like it's not even like dark. Like it's magical darkness. That fifteen foot circle you're in. All right. Well, I'm gonna tell. Like I'm, I'm, I'm super hurt. Um. So I'm just gonna responsibly. I'm just gonna cast polymorph on myself. <laughs> okay. What do you want to get? turn into? The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, I approve. Um, I was say, I can argue I've seen one before. No, 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 it's totally, believe me, we used to use it all the time. You just watch as from out of the sphere of darkness appears a large Tyrannosaurus. Oh, my God. Yep, this I'm is hurt. I'm afraid. I want to cause some damage. Initiative eight. Oh, wow. I rolled a two. Tyrannosaurus Airbus. Okay, so I'll just remove your token for the moment. And behold! <laughs> Good lord. It's glorious. <laughs> so you just I, told you, I told you it happened. He pops out of Better one than 14. He just watches as he pops out of the sphere of darkness. He watches the drow has captain just like looks back and sure, just like, what the fuckness. Look <laughs> at this giant dinosaur. You don't go fucked up here, shit. All right, so that's your action. You have movement and bonus. Um, can I see now? Am I above the darkness? Just a bit, yeah. I'm just a bit, so I can kind of see around me. Um, oh, yeah, you see now. Yeah. You just can't see through it, so like you might have issues seeing like the bard on the other side of the, the thing. Um, but other than that, you have a decent beat on most things. God, I don't think I have much I can do for bonus as a T Rex. I don't, not specifically. I don't know why for some reason I just picture you and Theris having like this ET and Elliot moment <laughs> with your tiny hand. <laughs> uh, I could see Theris. Um, can I? kind of hunch down kind of and nod and be like rrr, rrr, like like get on top of me sure you want to like move your tail over to him so he can like you can lift him up i'll let you yeah. do it you know, flips his tail under me just flips me up on top of his back i love this i haven't seen dino riders since i was like five years old but let's go for it <laughs> <laughs> 
You should read Harry Dresden. <laughs> I have. I need to. I haven't read any of them. I know he's read all of them. Might be safe yeah, if you just carry me in your mouth Battle and tail slap everything. <laughs> all right, so you got that going on. Anything else you want to do? I think that's basically it, right? Because you're waiting for him. Uh, yeah, essentially, yeah. I will okay. move until I get confirmation from him. Uh, let's see. We feel water. We don't like yeah, this. He feels the heat. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you hear a hey. muffled sound? Sorry! Uh, <laughs> Oh, wait, he can't do it, now. You're lucky. Um, oh, gosh. What do we want to do? This is not a good spot to be in. And he can't see anything else, and he doesn't know a choice. Actually, I got a really He's probably aware of the three individuals that are hitting him. No, and he knows they're there. He just doesn't get any type of... Uh... All right, he's going to go in for a burning... Pack on this elemental. Nothing. Well, well. Trial four. Attacky tacky. <laughs> Even when she's stunned. Wolfgart. You I, get a turn. It's your time. I wanted to throw a fireball, but you moved half the people out of it. I still think it's worth it. Gronkum will be okay. Gronkum is not raging currently. You know what? I really just want to throw a fireball. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a fireball at those. Okay. Go ahead and roll um, a strength attack. Set. Yep. Oh god, that's gonna go bad. Oh, I actually went. Well. Alright, so you, you pull out the orb, you chuck it. Yeah. Actually, that overlaps with the spider. Do I hit the spider with that? <laughs> um, No, not on that one specifically. You'd hit uh, the female drow, the drow assassin, and the earth. Oh, that's 25. Hey, 25. I, I can hit three things. <laughs> I can hit the spider there. Yeah, you can hit the spider, but then you don't hit the female. They're both 20, but the purple one is so much bigger. They have, like, weird things. They yeah, fence grounds is odd, because now we've got Three sizes of 20 foot. Oh no, this one's apparently 25. Yeah, I'll just hit those three right there then. Okay. Go ahead and target them. Uh, the save. Let me double check. I think it's this on the item. Beat of, uh, beat of fireball, right? Yeah. Why am I not seeing it? Oh, you just typed it in. That's why. <laughs> Five balls of fireball. Hold on. It's an actual item. Let me grab it. Uh, yeah, I don't have the thing to do the fireball, so. I gotcha. You get it. Eat a fireball. You have five. Uh, I take those. Coding. Feed. No, I guess it's just fireball. Does it say what it is? Beat a fireball. It is DC 15. So let me go ahead and roll. The females first. Natural 20. Uh, assassin. Plus 2. 
18. That's a success. And he has evasion, so he takes nothing. That's a super fireball. He doesn't get to evade it, I say. Earth Mage <laughs> plus one. That's an eight. Earth Mage fails. So half damage on female, no damage on Drow Assassin. So just roll the dice and I'll add it for it. How many dice is it? Uh, uh, yeah. And then Drow Earth Mage takes all said, the shit. You, you can't eight. spell a ball of fireball. You said 8d6? Yep. Yeah. Can't dispel this. You can, well, I guess you can dispel. You just can't counter spell. <laughs> That's Ooh, a good one. That was a, that was a good one. And 18 to the other. Jeez. 37 to the Earth Mage. Whew. He's looking rough. <laughs> and the female. 18. Where is she? There she is. That's the first time she took damage. Congratulations, Dark. You just made a friend for life. Alright, so that was your action to throw it. And you have this immediate like gratification. <laughs> like, I've wanted to do that for so long. <laughs> so true. Yeah, so you watch, uh, and it kind of smells like this burnt fart smell, too. <laughs> Actually, it would be enough to dispel the stinking cloud. But you do manage to, uh... <laughs> He's not looking too good. <laughs> Any bonus action? Or movement? I guess I can't use the bonus action to attack if I... You're level 2 rogue, right? Yeah. You can disengage. Yeah, you know what? I'll disengage. <laughs> I'm gonna walk away so I don't get killed. Yeah, the Trail Captain and the Shadow Knight are not the, uh, the Trail Captain at least is, like, a much more honorable, the Shadow Knight's just a dick. <laughs> Alright, so you disengage and move. Alright, back to the safety of the dinosaur. I'm happy, I, I, I need to go to sleep tonight, really good. <laughs> Uh, the priestess? No, your friend is up next. Okay, so go ahead. And as we know, female drow are uh, a very forgiving lot. Hmm. Ten, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Burn a third level spell slot. Heals Earth Mage for 13 points a game. Draw two. Singular attack. Short sword. This guy's literally been holding his own for so long, he's starting to not look very good. Draw Assassin two. Finally happy he can shoot at that dwarf again. Yep, and he has an ally. First shot. <laughs> this is gonna fucking hurt. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's not good. Uh oh. Really? Can you not do that just out of pity? We're on round five. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll be pitiful. Alright, well, first of all, this is gonna suck anyways for them. So, the first part of this thing, let's get our sneak attack damage on. Uh, so, the first part of the damage she takes, she takes 34 points of damage, but 
She also has to make her con save. Actually, do we crit? Yeah, technically we do. Hmm. Don't want to do it that way. No, nah, technically it is separate. It's not part of the attack damage. So she needs to make her con save. And another five points of poison damage. Wizard is now back awake. He's going to burn a... I think I could do this. Why is Gronkum casting spells? I was just trying to code it and testing to make sure it worked. Oh, ah, I see. It did work. Hmm. Why? I guess we'll just do a firebolt. I'm gonna fling a firebolt at number one. What is him disadvantage? Poison? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, he is poison too. That indeed is a miss, unfortunately. Earth Mage. Looks <laughs> over you. Where did you go, Wolfgar? By the big scary dinosaur. The big dinosaur? No one has to see me. Fair enough. Hmm. Hmm. Nope, we want to go the other way. This will probably work. Uh, no. Okay. What is the distance? 120 feet, 40 foot cube. Centered on T-Rex. And you watch as the Earth Mage begins to cast a spell and all the ground beneath you begins to turn to mud and you all begin to sink. Does that include the water elemental? Um, I don't know. He's kind of 50-50 on the line. We'll have to wait till it's your turn or his turn. <laughs> so at the beginning of your save, or your turns, Each foot you move within that 40 foot, unless you're flying, obviously, or out of the mud, costs four feet of movement. If you're on the ground, you must make a, uh, to be an attorney, make a strength save, or you sink and become restrained. Uh, so that's his action. He's a little pissed off about his pet, and then he is going to fall back. Hey, look who's up. Too pissed. Alright, first attack. <laughs> Seven points of damage. Second attack. Seven points of damage. Third attack. <laughs> Eight points of damage. Action surge! First attack. Aw, oh, if these all miss, I'm gonna be pissed. Fuck me. 
Hey, there we go. Not bad. Eight points of damage. Top. Uh, technically, Arborist, you're... we'll go with your Dinosaurs initiative. Because you get that physical attribute. Okay, Death Knight. <laughs> uh huh. He's not going for you, though. Takes 21 points of damage, and he is going to consume the darkness spell, causing an additional 66 necrotic, 17 points of damage. Second attack. Also, oh, advantage because he's pretty much surrounded. That does hit. 30 or 21 points of damage, and he forms a five foot shadowy square on Zion. Does that shadowy square also have the same benefits as darkness? Yep, or? exactly. Okay. They're just smaller. Uh, Satesh. Uh, He's going to run forward. Grab the one that's on you, Deft. And he's going to try to toss him. <laughs> nope. He just watches. He runs up, grabs him, and throws him back. Thanks, buddy. She can't any high fives? Absolutely. The highest of fives. Water Elemental's turn. It's gonna try to, uh... Does it take fire damage? Because uh, immolated? Oh! Or... That is oh, a... Oh, no. No. Why the end, not the beginning? I didn't make this well. 12 points of damage. And oof. Knocked unconscious. Mm, you watch individual. individual blue hair coming out of a hooded robe. Seems female. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty. Hold on. Let me go ahead and make the water elementals uh, save or force to save. Forty-six. <laughs> <laughs> so, Okay. You watch as the individual holds out their hand and they mutter something under their breath. And you watch as the female drow looks deeply concerned. I'll end your turn. Wire three. I'm gonna go ahead and attack. Oh, no, no, no. <clears throat> Hold on, wait. Now, I have uh, an argument here. Cat. 
Ari is currently in mud, pinned under a flaming water elemental. They yep. have a lot of water to get through. Yeah, but they're on the outside. Yeah, but she's on the inside. And they're looking in. They gotta go through the water And they can see through element. you. And they're gonna they still them. gotta go through. <laughs> Fire is opaque. Yeah, no, they're still gonna hit you. Nice try, though. Does she at least, or do they at least get disadvantage? Uh, it's kind of a flatter. Uh, uh, wait, but shield? You can yeah, cast. Shield, I think. I'm definitely going to shield on that one. Okay. Because I believe shield is verbal, right? I uh, should probably do somatics in water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just restrained. You're not, like, paralyzed. Yeah. Uh, so, let's just apply that. Yes, good. All right. At the end of the turn, you watch as the female drow pulls out a wand and, like, shoots up this blue uh, flare up into the sky, yells something out, and you watch. It's one by one. <laughs> the drow begin to disappear. What? Out of curiosity... Uh, what was the water mage's reaction to his elemental being on fire? <laughs> A ponderous, very confused look. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. The water elemental. Oh, the water elemental. He remains. Uh, they remain. He comes out. Your dumb little friend goes away. <laughs> All right. You look around. Giant T-Rex, the elemental is still in place. <clears throat> Um, she is gone. Wolfgart. I don't want him to go away. I want to throw another fireball, damn it. <laughs> Not really anything for me to do, so I guess I'll end my turn here. He makes it that save. Success. Gone, come. You see the other group's party members, and you see a water elemental. Cosplaying as a fire elemental. With an Ari inside. Cosplaying as a fire elemental. Oh, wait, doesn't it take its fire damage? I uh, already did its fire damage. Okay, okay. I rolled its save and then did the fire damage. Gotcha. Am I in range there? Um, what are you trying to do? Hit it. Uh, unfortunately, no. What are you trying to hit it with? Throwing something? Sure. Or like, no. Not unless you want to throw the ground. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I want to throw myself. <laughs> Three hand axe. All right, yeah. That'll work. And that'll hit. Second hand axe. Why am I getting advantage on it? Uh, you had advantage and disadvantage, so it was fine. Let's see. Water elemental? Uh, yeah, because it's emulated. Are you maybe? reckless? I shouldn't be. Uh, no, your poison doesn't give it advantage or disadvantage or anything. I check the water month, though. Hold on. I can't believe you guys got uh, a boss of people. <laughs> it's the best payback ever. It's Someone had put a grand advantage attack on it? I don't know who. 
to Ooh, sell so like Mark of Enemy? Enemy? Back, back to yeah. the, uh, oh, it failed. Or it was in the range of the um, Fairy Fire, wasn't it? Uh, oh, it was. Yep, that's why. So it's still, it's like, <laughs> this is even it better. Was, <laughs> it's lighted two types of fire. <laughs> it's like got a purple fire and then it's <laughs> plain old normal magical fire. <laughs> Oh, she's pissed, too. She wanted to kick the shit out of those guys. Um, she's kind of out of range. She's not going to do anything. Actually, she'll run towards uh, their dome party member. Yeah, she'll just run, like, over here. That's probably is all she get. Istrid is going to run over. Five. Does not have healing work. Gonna run up to the healer or to their caster, but not do anything. Hunter. <laughs> gonna set up. First shot. Eleven points of damage. Reduce the five. Nine reduced to four. And ten reduced to five. Arborous! Yay! You get the final walk. kill! There's only one thing left! Walk over. I don't want to bite the water elemental. Okay, so here's your T Rex card. So you can only hit him once because T Rexes yeah. can only hit uh, one creature and another, but it's one quite creature, a hit. Yeah. Uh, he's not healed yet. Just go ahead and roll a normal attack because this could be really funny. Ooh, can a tail up it? Oh, wait, sorry, that was the wrong one. No, not the It's tail. the same roll regardless. Yeah, it's the same roll. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, it <laughs> is the same roll. You bite through the water, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you showed that water who's boss, though. And then I'm going to roar and intimidate it. Bonus you intimidate action. that water. Does it intimidate yeah. anyone in range or just enemies? It doesn't say. It's not an ability, I'm just... Fight my... damage? Oh, you're just roaring for fun. I got you. Yeah. Rawr. Alright. I was saying, I didn't, yeah, I didn't do any damage to it. Yeah. Correct. Max is going to run over to the water elemental as well. Yeah, that works. Burn up first level divine smite just to make sure it ends. Max is gonna steal my fire elemental kill. <laughs> oh here, oh, oh here, here, here. You're, you actually are next. He has got a lot of healing to do. He'll just strike it or plain damage. No, no, go for the divine. If <laughs> we got it anyway, <laughs> just slices through it. You are officially out of combat. Uh, they do go ahead. Kill their little buddy. Alright. What do you guys wish to do? Our intern scared him off. You only get half. Like, um, excuse me, I didn't make my deal with you. We lend a aid, and what is an intern? I, I take one last very paranoid look ar around for enemies. <laughs> Anyone I don't see? I mean, that's a loaded question, but no drow. <laughs> okay. I'll, uh, yeah, I'm casting I'll just have a sit. Jerk. Are you lays there, somewhat annoyed and in pain, covered in blood and mud and water and soot? <laughs> I 
blew my last fifth level slot and healed everybody in our group because I don't know what's going on still. We may still be in danger. I'm going to stay as a T-Rex because I'm scared. Fair enough. You can stay for an hour, right? Yes. Or is it less than an hour? I forget. Uh, I'm pretty sure polymorph is an hour. Or is it just polymorph or is this a B-shape? It's just polymorph. Yeah, it's polymorph. Yeah, B-shape's an hour, correct. Sorry. I can't B-shape this cool. You can't be shipped this school. You could try someday. You never know. Someday. I was hoping you'd give me something. Are you moon or what are you? Uh, wildfire. One of the UA ones. Yay, more no. fire. <laughs> you never have uh, enough fire. If there's dies, I'm making a cold mage. The county was on fire at the time I made this, so I was like, hmm, that sounds kind of nice. <laughs> kind of okay. regret that. Hey, they have really good spells. I wouldn't regret it at all. It's one of the better druids. They do. Yeah. I just really wanted to be Shepard. I wanted to summon things left and right and piss you off. Yeah, but the downside is I get to pick what they are. Shepard is not one of the better ones, too. I saw someone try to play it once, and they gave up at, like, a what level was that? I forget what game that was. But any whoozle. Everyone kind of collects in to their own little groups and starts kind of licking their wounds. Are there bodies of any of the uh, drows that attacked us? You never killed a single one. Other than there's probably there's one in the <laughs> south yeah. west. Oh, that's the one that, uh, what's his name killed? Mace killed. Yep. Mace killed one. There is a wizard. So hold on, I'll mark him. There's a dead wizard. Ah. There's a dead wizard right below the T-Rex. There is a dead drow over here. -ish. Warrior, death knight, warrior... Yeah, that's it. You find I'm some elemental. bones. You find a bit of dust and mud. Well, and that's right. That was the one that was incinerated. Mm -hmm. And elementals don't leave much behind. But yeah, you, there's two dead drow for your your effort. Well, Mace killed that one, so that's his body to loot. About this time, Tyrannosaurus turns back into a, our dear friend Arborus. Ah! Before, before that. Was anyone on top of me? Was anyone on my back? If anyone wanted to ride beforehand, sure. Before that, um, I take a step and I take another step and I just run towards. I know who this is, right? Hmm. Well, as I'm running up, can I uh, piece together who this is? So you're running... What are you doing? I'm going from the front of the desk, running towards her. What are you doing as you're running towards her? I'm just looking at her. I don't say anything. I just try and... I, okay. I tilt my head, trying to put it together. So as you run, all of a sudden you just watch death turn into a frog. <laughs> I croaked badly. As you get to like right about here, she's just like, huh. Oh, you're very wet. Yep. She's wet, bloody, covered in soot. My death laying and, on the ground and hatch. And you literally watch a deaf running over towards this uh, woman with the blue hair, and then all of a sudden you just see deaf disappear and become a tiny frog. Tiny frog, you can see hopping towards the woman with blue hair. I land on her foot. She just kind of like picks you up by one of your feet and holds you upside down looking at you. Ribbit. 
Rip it. Rip it. <laughs> Satesh kind of like runs up like, hey, put my acolyte down. What are the rest of you doing? Qualcomm's talking to Theris. You just need healing. Poison. Is it still stuck on there? A lot of people are poisoned. Falls poisoned. I thought they were just like the damage poison. No, 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 no. The assassins were using damage poison. All of the other troops were using like knockout and poison poison. Me Believe me, if they're all shooting damage poison, this would be a very different fact. Oh, but maybe not. And I'll tell you what, Modify Memory is one hell of a spell. I wish it cast. Yeah. So... This woman... Uh, my, how I many could... people are... I've got three second level spells I can get lesser restoration on people. Um... So Gronkum... Looks like Max... That it? I can throw a bunch of uh, low restorations on some people if they need it. Yeah, I think it's just Gronkum and Max that got okay. hit by it. So yeah, I'll, I'll hit both of them with uh, resto, less restos. Alright, so Ferris, he watches the woman with, uh, <laughs> as your casting spell comes up and brings you Death the Frog. I think this belongs to you. Ooh, frogs. I hate frogs. I throw it down and stomp on it. Let's <laughs> <laughs> watch as you stomp on it and no. all of a sudden it turns back into death. <laughs> no. You knew it was death anyways, if you want. Now, what had, did I see what happened to death? Uh, you watched death like made a beeline for this woman, and then the woman turned death into a frog. I cast a level three dispel magic. Okay, so the frog sitting on the ground in front of you, and all of a sudden, <laughs> death, you pop back out. I'm just laying on the ground, just accepting my fate at this point. She's like, "You keep that lecher away from me," and she holds this like silvery staff, pointing at Death's face. I I thought I recognized you. I'm sorry. Who are you? She kind of looks at me and she's like, You're welcome. Max still has poison on him, too. But as yeah, I'll get him. Max could also just expend five points from his land hands to cure himself with poison. That's all he has left. Yeah, but he also has his Asmar healing, so, you know. He's got his healing hands. <laughs> my strong hand. Take my healing hand. <laughs> uh, Ari's gonna roll over and then slowly start picking herself up. Fair enough. Well, hi, Gronkum. He's pointing things at you. That's not okay. I appreciate that. She just um, kind of looked at Gronkum. Like, were can... you the were you the one who made them leave? It no! Hazy They're... towards the middle there. Their leader made them leave. I just reminded her that they had an important place to be. <laughs> okay. What? Why couldn't you remind them that uh, they wanted to die? Doesn't work that way. Well, that uh... they wanted to get rid of their weapons? Thank, thank you. Or helping. It's like, okay. And you watch she throw something over towards uh, their group. It's like, bye. What? Bye. Wait. Bye. Wait. Where are you going? Do oh. I have any knowledge of what this group is? No. The party does. You don't. Oh. So, said individual, I assume, looks strikingly similar to Allie? 
Uh, kind of, yeah. This woman now, she's probably like this, in her mid or early to mid 20s. Does this look more along the lines of a older alley or a relative of alley? Um, what was it? Uh, a history check really quick. Uh, alley? No response. Wait, 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 wait. I stand up and I trip over the log. Wait, wait. And I start running towards her again. Uh, she kind of like looks back at you. Kinda like, uh, This is a friendly run. Don't attack. Why did you help us? She just kind of like looks at you. No reason you didn't hear? Hear what? The drow have been purging the forest. All night long. Oh, we're, uh... No. We're not what you'd say local. So we don't really know what's going on around she here. Had, she looks over at uh, Arborist and she's like, you should probably get your friends out of here. I wouldn't waste any more time. Uh, okay. So the results of the history? Um, she looks similar. The alley that you saw was not too, too far from the age of this girl is. It's not alley. I mean, it could be. Alley. Interdimensional. Alley. But she looks more along the lines of a relative rather than an older. I mean, she's older than the Ali you met last. But it doesn't look like Ali. It's close enough in age, you can tell that this is not Ali compared to the last time you saw Ali. And she just continues walking. Are you going to that place that we're going to by any chance? And you hear the bard like, ah, thank you for your time, everybody. And they kind of start moving off. Hey, where are you going? Wait. Can I see what she threw them? Uh, she threw them a sack. In fact, with your super keen uh, sound and uh, <laughs> just because you're deaf, uh, she sounds like she threw them a sack of coin. Uh... She just keeps walking. I go up. No, Gronkum, come here. Gronkum, come here. I check. I check uh, Gronkum's bag with our gold. You look. Yeah, your gold's there. What? And you watch as she kind of like puts her hands together and begins to like form the shape with her hands. And you watch as this silvery, immaculate doorway appears in front of her. Out of curiosity, do you have a daughter or a sister by the name of Ellie? Oh, Distant cousin, maybe? No. And you watch as she knocks on the door three times. And it kind of opens up. It's like, good luck. And you hear, <laughs> as she opens the door, you see a little girl with blue hair on the inside of the door. You're back! I assume the little girl looks strikingly familiar. Looks very familiar, but not the same. Alternate dimension. And yeah. she, you watch as she begins to close the door behind her, and you hear the little girl, Gwen, you're home! And the door shuts. Thank you. Z is anyone else getting deja vu? Or is that just me? No, not me. The door slowly just kind of fades. Um, roll an investigation check. Anyone who approached the door. Oh, that sucks. Okay. Um, deft. Wait, am I still poisoned? Uh, hold on. Yeah, hold on one sec. Let's say I cast. I forgot I poisoned you. 
Gronk, uh, Gronk. Oh, yes, like you're still in your human form. Um, poison, got it. Cool. Roll one more time, Gronk. Wow, right. Gronk. As you watch, and this door lingers for a few minutes, it doesn't go away immediately. It's kind of here for the moment. Um, you look on the, uh, the engravings on the door. There's a very eerie, awkward, familiar looking halfling face that's engraved into the door. And there are words engraved into the door beneath it. Um, Does anyone speak halfling here? We can pretend to speak halfling. Does anyone actually speak halfling? No. Don't they have a halfling in their group? You can ask them. No. They have a gnome, but they might have someone who can read halfling. No, read halfling. Uh, you watch as the bard kind of says, like, ah, uh, yes, um, I believe I can help. I'm it's like, real quick before it disappears. He kind of runs over. He's like, big cello fan. Learn to read halfling at a young age. Uh, he's going to go over to it. Um, Lord Williams. Magnificent. Mansion of what is that? I don't know that last word. Yeah. Hotel I just, for chance. I just start laugh, mm -hmm. laughing. laughing. Crocom knocks on the door three times. Okay. <laughs> I roll a percentile check. Mm -hmm. Come on, no numbers. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, so you knock on the door, and all of a sudden you just hear... And you open the door, and there's a probably three-foot child standing there looking up at you. And there's William here. Who? William, the guy that made this door. <laughs> what door? Gwen, there's someone at the door! <laughs> She's gonna be so mad. Like, you mean Grandpa? Yes. Is, Is Grandpa here? here? No, Grandpa died. Oh. And you hear this uh, voice shouting from behind. Ari, close that door now. It's like, sorry. Oh, and there for the night. Can't put your foot in the door. Maybe this is the She got in by chance. What? So you hear her yell at the little kid who's apparently named Ari, and then the door slams shut. And we'll stop there. No. My mind is blown. She's saying. Yeah, kid's yeah. named after you. That's kind of weird. So, apparently, we've been gone for a very long time. William and Allie, uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I'll just correct you there. No, 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 no. <laughs> Looks like yeah. Allie. William's a grandpa. Grandpa William. Good for them. You get the feeling it's more of a a loving title than an actual lineage. Well, I mean, there's some Gronkham weird doesn't get that feeling. Time <laughs> shenanigans going on. Mm -hmm. Are you good? I didn't see you that whole fight. I was a little worried. Where's yeah. Airbus at? Airbus? Yeah. Where I don't know where Airbus is. You can ask Airbus. <laughs> he was here, yeah, but he's not right. there anymore. Am I right? Am I not here anymore? Yeah. Uh, oh, you you're a T-Rex. Token. Hold on. Wait, no, because no, you, uh, your T-Rex wore off. There you go. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, but Airbus now. Yeah, right, yeah, I'm an Airbus. I guess the water elemental decided that it didn't want me to move. Yeah, I saw it uh on fire for a little bit there. That's pretty two good. kinds of fire. Nods. Turns out right. you can burn water. <laughs> Impressive. It takes a lot of effort to burn water. My wife mastered that skill. Uh, <laughs> Go to my ex. Yeah, we'll pause there for tonight. Um, you guys uh, probably hastily at the uh, the recommendation of Gwen and Ari. Um, probably would not stick around for too long. Um, so I would assume probably you would be healing up. And then your dear friend, the druid, if he's got the third level spell slots left, would probably be casting the run super fast spell on you. Yep, I, I do. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. cast it. Okay. So we get the fudge out of here. Go ahead, and if you guys have any spells you want to uh, expend to go ahead and heal, um, we'll say that those are active, and then we'll pick up here next time. So if you guys want to talk to them a little bit, you can. If not, you can start running off, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Once we the start the run, I, I cast uh, Pathfinder Trace. The bard looks at you as you say you're not in the competition anymore. He's like, my friend, life's a competition. And he throws the bag up and kind of catches it and just smiles and walks back to the group. Um, can I guesstimate how much gold is in that bag? Or perhaps platinum? It's not... There's definitely not 25,000 gold in that bag. So platinum, yeah. You don't know. You could always... I, I mean, with... Hear That's me out. I am very here. <laughs> That's affinity for coins. He roll a smell I did, check. I did a math on how much you, a you chest. Smell a lot, you smell a lot of platinum. A lot of platinum. Ooh. Yeah, I mean, Death even measured the exact square inch that you could fit, you know, or the amount of gold you could fit into a chest down to the exact square inch. You got it in fact. I would know these things. They're not hunting you down for money, is probably a very good sign, and you should probably just roll with it. Okay. But yeah, and you do know, though, just as a reminder, you know you're not on your material plane. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just out of random curiosity, do the members of Zoom Raiders by chance have one of these braces or a similar bracelet to Allie? Um, as you look at them, Actually, that's a good question. Just roll a general perception check at the time. Uh... Of course, you did. Noise. Um, no, none of the Doom Raiders do. You do notice that one has a gemmed hand that looks very similar to the way that the gems on Theris's hands are, except Theris has a hand. Um, the woman named Gwen had the exact matching bracer that Allie wears. Oh yeah, didn't one of them want to talk at Theris? The, uh, the one who'd been following Theris the entire competition is Jada. That is the guy who casted Feeble Mind on uh, Abasa. Theris, you want to go have a word with your buddy over there? Not overly. <laughs> yeah. But you can't do it this week, you can't do it this week. pretty attached. <laughs> thank you Not yet, Krakow, I will uh, this weekend. Yeah, I think he wants more for me than to talk. He just wants a hand, Theris. That's what I'm... <laughs> I'd be Did happy that... to have his, but... Hey, you never know. You could, you, maybe they're like Pokemon cards and you can trade the gems. <laughs> I'll trade you a green and a red for a yellow and a blue. Did that green lady have the same kind of bracelet as Allie? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. It Did they like the exact same one? Same one that Allie wears and the same one that Soren wears. You do notice that Allie only did start wearing that bracelet after um, you yeah, saw her at her older age. Correct. Yeah. And you do remember, because she did use it one singular time, that bracelet is how she used her technique to split into two. Ooh. What you've also seen before from another person. 
Did we see Zoran do that? Uh, you've seen similar. You get the feeling that's probably the first step in the magic that has multiple Zorans. Uh, the one you probably let out of the mirror is probably a much more advanced version of that or something different. Uh, this is probably something derivative of that, which allows her to basically temporarily summon another alley. They share hit points and they share spell slots, but they get action economy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so we'll we'll stop there for now. I'll let you guys get some sleep and we can all suffer until it's Friday again next week. Yay! Yay! <laughs> The way, but hey, you didn't lose your first character. You've got at least one turn, Airbus. And I, I like did. I, I got to turn into a T Rex. I didn't get to attack. That's a any, pretty good one. Do damage to anything. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> I like. I like to think that me turning into a T Rex caused them all to leave. But... You want to know what though? You do, because at this point, none of you specifically. I'll tell you guys what you did, just because you're people. But yeah, as far as you know, you turned into a T-Rex, and these fuckers run for the hills. Yeah. You showed them up. What actually happened is she cast Modify Memory and convinced them that they were supposed to be somewhere for a, uh, a very important thing they couldn't miss, and they all were <laughs> pulled back. Well, at the very yeah. least, that's yeah, what I the don't, uh, I, trial leader there. I didn't do that. Yeah, all you had to do is convince the female. Mm hmm no one else I scared them all away. Well, and there's only one male there that technically would be in any place to even argue with the female. So the drow captain can't argue. He just serves the house. The shadow knight, kind of same situation, just a male, probably not going to do anything. Abasa, probably the only person who probably could have even question or said anything to the female but when you have one intelligence and one charisma you don't really get to have a lot of good uh comeback lines and no capabilities of understanding intelligent language <laughs> i'm gonna laugh if like we were like level 18 someday and we find a boss and he still hasn't passed that failed save <laughs> she's like eating jello in a dry retirement home <laughs> <laughs> It wouldn't be so bad, too, except he's a wizard. I'm just picturing he comes back for revenge once he does save, and then we just pass it again on him. Someone Aww. passes it again. That'd be fun. That'd be up. so good. Well, the good part yeah. is, well, the good part of the bad part, you also have to remember who his, uh, who his mate was. I don't remember. The female Mira from the Dark Elf team. Did she die? No, not Mira. You killed a cu You killed two. Someone else may have killed three. Um, but as far as there's uh, their leader lived, there's a different male. Mira lived in a boss lived. So some of them actually died? Uh, you have, yeah. Someone else may have killed a couple of them. They, out of their eight, only three lived. Okay, would there have been any chance of me noticing them dying? No, no, no. no. Reach you out? We, we were only died. involved in two of the deaths. Yeah. You guys that killed the great two of them. The death, who kills them doesn't a... matter. It's the fact that did they die and I can try to We were not around. A while ago. But yeah, no, you, did, you don't even know they're dead. They just are dead in general. Yeah. Some of the other teams somewhere killed some of them somehow. Probably when an ambush went wrong. Mm -hmm. alright well I'm going to go get some rest I will find more things to torment you guys with next week and uh, yeah, now we get to do some actual we get to explore the world a little bit instead of just fighting drugs <laughs> yep. we don't end up chained up in the underdark yeah at least not yet not yet if you guys ever change your mind though you know where the drought is okay. not everybody. that we do and we're going in the opposite direction